Hello guys and hope doing well. One side I have ADC0808 and the other side I have DAC0808 exactly two reverse ICs one from digital to analog and other one from analog to digital. I tried to contact digital inputs to digital outputs pin between these two ICs and finally the output of the DHC0808 is connected to the operational amplifier and I'm comparing the two analog and digital output voltage with two multimeter. The red one is modulated and encapsulated analog output from the um, DAC and the This uh, multimeter, the Worldcraft, is before encapsulating. You can see the number of voltage are same. You know that this is not a very uh, expensive multimeters, but these two multimeters are uh, same. I uh, have two uh, important items. Also, one is the power supply for this project coming from battery pack and this is my 9 volt converter the 9 volt converting to the 5 volt and also I need one clock and this is my clock generator the IC is 555 in fact the analog inputs coming from digital output of the two ICs. The ADC will convert analog to digital and the AC will convert digital to analog. And now we are comparing two amount of the outputs are the same, are very near to each other. So the frequency should be 2 kHz because of the clock coming from the ADC need at least 2 kHz to convert the analog to digital and reverse over 2 kHz and the local clock no need the external any oscillator or crystal oscillator and this is the DAC0808 yeah you can see this DAC and ADC usually this conversion using by microcontrollers and this project no need the microcontrollers and just a simple operational amplifier um, will make the output voltage bigger from the DAC0808 and this output for the DAC0808 going to the ADC and finally I'm comparing to output with the multimeter. Now I'm going to take a, a look to the pinout and Exact same date from Google Pictures. You can see this one is ADC 0808. Yes, so the pins, the in pins, input pins are connected to each other and finally going to the uh, ground. 
and this is the digital output it can connect to LCD it can connect to motor drivers to anything with eight digital pins and this is the clock I told you it's good enough to connect to the 2 kilohertz and this is my 2 kilohertz clock generator yes you can see this is 555 so about the DAC yeah this is exactly the DAC circuit that I'm done here 8 digital pins coming and one analog output we have it and the analog connected to the operational amplifier now inverting and finally the output is connected to the ADC 0808 like this and we take a compare from analog input with the analog output of this operational amplifier we try to tune the frequency by this potentiometer and check exactly for this encapsulation and encapsulation what we can do when we are not using any microcontroller from these two digital analog and analog digital converter we can exactly see that the voltage are the same if I'm going to take better operational amplifier the amounts going exactly the same thanks for watching and goodbye